Hello, I'm at Budget. Listen, it's it's been a, an exciting week. I'm telling you, so so exciting. You know, I, I, as as I yield myself to the spirit of God to be causing His word to come to you, even me right here. I'm so excited because there's there's a joy welling up in my heart. You know why? I know someone's life is being transformed even right now. Someone is getting healed even right now. Things are just happening as you receive this word in, words into your spirit. And listen. What am I doing? I'm sharing God's testimony with you. And as you believe it, He will bear witness that this testimony is true. Praise God. So as I'm sharing with you on how to hear the voice of God, something is going to be happening to you. Suddenly, He's going to be there. Boy, remember I spoke to you yesterday. You remember I spoke to you? Say, oh, yes. So now I understand. Now that's the Spirit of God communicating with you already. So what do you do? Thank Him. Acknowledge Him. Now I told you last week. Acknowledgement. If you don't acknowledge Him, if you keep Referring to his voice as something, he may not just talk more to you. But what do you do? Acknowledge him. Thank you, Lord. Oh, that, that was you that spoke to me last week. I didn't know. Lord, I'm so sorry. But you know what, Lord? You can speak to me now. I, I'm, I'll receive your word as your word. Praise God. Don't, don't be ashamed to tell someone that the Holy Spirit told me something. I don't want to sound spooky. I don't want to look like all those spirit coco. Come on. You are a spirit. Jesus said that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. So who are you? Are you a spirit? Or are you flesh? So I, I, I don't want to sound like, you know, spirit coco. Okay, okay. You want to sound like a dead man? No, I don't think that's what you want. So be who you are. Praise God. You are the spirit of God in human flesh. Hallelujah. You, you know, you know, let's just stay in this, you know, hearing the voice of God. I want to show you something in, in uh, James, the book of James chapter 3 and verse 13. Now look at this. It says, who is wise and understanding among you? He's asking a question. James 5, James 3 and verse 13. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in meekness of wisdom. I want you to get this. The wise one among you, let him show by what? Good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of wisdom. I told you something um, a few days ago. The wisdom is the word of God. So let's let's put the word of God here. So let him show by good works, by good conduct, that his works are done in the meekness of the word of God. Follow me now. It says, but if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your heart, if you have this bitter envy, in other words, if you you envy others, so you you look at them, say, I, I wish I can be better than them. You know, that's envy. Or I, I wish I was in a better place than they are now. No. Now, if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your heart, do not boast and lie against the truth. Follow me now. This wisdom, this word of God that you think you have. See, so if, if, you, if you desire God to speak to you because of envy, if you desire, you know, there are lots of, there are lots of people, even people, lots of people who are in the prophetic. You know, I, I heard the Lord tell me this one time and I saw it from scriptures. The Lord said, beware of sorcery. Like, Why is the Lord telling me to beware of sorcery? I don't intend to, to practice sorcery. No, 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 no. By the time the Lord was done with me explaining what sorcery is, I was like, dear Lord, have mercy on me. Praise God. S sincerely. Because a lot of people don't know that they practice sorcery, even with God. Now, they are genuine. They love God. They, they've not gone to any native doctor. They've not gone to any witchcraft you know, whatever. But, but even with God, they practice sorcery. Say, how? Now, watch this. It says... 
But if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in you, do not boast and lie against it. This wisdom does not descend from above, but it is earthly, sensual, demonic. Now I said, change that wisdom to the word of God. This word of God does not descend from above, but it is earthly, sensual, demonic. So he says, there is the wisdom that is from above, and then there is the wisdom that is beneath. So which wisdom? The word of God. He said, I don't get. Yes. Now, when you go before the Lord with a predetermined answer, see, I want to change this thing. And this is how I want it to be. And then you go before the Lord and say, God, Lord, how do I change this thing? How do, oh Lord, this thing must change. Oh Lord, this thing must change. You know, Lord, this thing. And then the word of God comes to you. Now, that word of God that came to you didn't come from above. It came from the earth. He said, huh? But I thought I heard God. Yes, it came from the earth. Oh, dear God. Hmm. Did you read in the book of Jeremiah, God said, look, when, when these people come to me with idol in their hearts, I am going to answer them according to the idol in their hearts. The scripture is on your screen. You can study it for yourself. God said that. So, I don't get. So, God spoke to me, yes, but it is not his wisdom. No, it's not. He spoke to you according to the idol that was in your heart. So, why would God do that? Because that's what you want. Huh? Well, you, you, you go study the story of Balaam and Balak. Now, Balaam was a man of God. He said he loved God. And he, he sought God you know, in everything. But when the king came and said, come cost these people for me and gave him a lot of money, he, he, he actually was willing to do it. So now he went before the Lord and then he was trying to get God to give him words to cost the children of Israel. See? Now he didn't go to... So he, oh, let's do this sacrifice because he knew the ways of God to an extent. So he said, let's do this sacrifice. When we do, God's going to speak. So they did. And God spoke the first time. They said, okay, let's go elsewhere. They did. God spoke the second time. By the third time, go read it for yourself. In the book of Numbers, he says, when God spoke, the Bible says, Balaam realized that God didn't intend to curse these people. So he now didn't seek God by sorcery anymore. Wonderful. I'll continue tomorrow. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.